Hi everyone, this part of our presentation is about the robots company and our real-time operating system Unison. The name of the company has its origin from the founder's surname, Ro, so that's made it robots. Sounds almost like robots, but it's not. The company has a pretty long history and actually was started by a group of university researchers. Actually, the Unison has been compiled in the form of an Artos back in the 2007 as a POSIX and embedded Linux compatible OS. Most of our solutions are based on our Artos. We provide deep customization for customers' needs and dedicated support to help implement it into your project. The use of the Artos in your project will be covered by a flexible commercial license that will consider only the required components of Unison Artos and your target volume of units produced. However, robots is not only about uni the Unison Artos. We can build a hardware prototype with the related firmware using other Artoses or even without any Artos at all. In other words, we can take a project and deliver ready prototypes or act as a remote part of your team, saving your office space and management resources. Why robots? Because we deliver results on time and under the predefined budget. Our solutions are reliable and time-proven because we have a vast experience in different areas of IoT, including even the medical IoT. So, how we met robots and ST microelectronics? Back in 2018, we have been selected by ST Microelectronics to be certified as an authorized partner. That was a challenging process for us to meet all the high standards of ST, but we are proud to be their partner now and have a made for stn 32 label for the Unison Artos Cube version. We are currently in the process of the preparing for getting the label for the current Unison version 2. So, Unison Artos is a time-proven solution. It has a modular structure and flexible licensing. It has security components and it is safe and reliable. It can work with different clouds such as Azure or Amazon and supports lots of data transfer protocols. I'm sure all of you know about the reasons to use an Artos in your project. Not only because some projects just require an Artos, but also because it reduces the cost of the development and minimizes time to market. Thus, having reduced time to market, you will sooner reach the ROI and get a bigger revenue. Amongst our customers, specifically using the Unison 4 ST version, are such companies like Wayside Inspection Devices, General Dynamics, Hingnotronics and Innovation Controls. So, one of the questions that you obviously will have is why to have another Artos in the cube when there is a free Artos already available? There are lots of differences between those two Artoses. They are related to API standards and licensing, available components, levels of security and file system specification, available network stack and devices, and wireless communication support. We provide advanced communication protocols and diagnostic tools, as well as a bunch of additional features like shell or OTA bootloaders. Talking about the supported IDEs, this version of Unison Artos implemented into ST Cube MX supports Cortex M MCUs and is available for IAR, ARM Kale, System Workbench, and of course, for talking about the supported IDEs. This version of Unison Artos, implemented into STQBMX, supports Cortex-M MCUs and is available for IAR, ARM Kale, System Workbench, and of course for STM32 Cube ID. So, thanks for watching this part of our presentation. Now we we'll proceed to the next part. Hello, I'm Luis Chosa. STM32 ecosystem marketing at ST in charge of embedded software offer for microcontrollers. I'm very pleased to present you today an announcement of the STM32 Cube ecosystem during this webinar organized by our partner Robots. STM32 Cube ecosystem is now becoming even more user friendly, more intuitive, and offers the possibility to integrate new packages. 
a new features enable the integration of partner software solutions in STM32 Cube projects, getting developers up and running faster on their own prototyping board. The STM32 Cube ecosystem is a software solution for STM32 microcontrollers and microprocessors created for designers interested in a free comprehensive development environment and for users looking to integrate STM32 software in their existing IDE, such as ARMKIL or IAR IDEs. STM32 Cube is a combination of software tools and embedded software libraries. It is a full set of software tools addressing each step of a complete project development cycles, configuration, development, programming, and monitoring, as you can see on the left side of the screen. It embeds software bricks, enabling advanced functionalities in STM32 microcontrollers and microprocessors from MCU drivers to more advanced application-oriented features, as shown on the right side of the slide. In addition to STM32 Cube, which is related to ARM Cortex-M core developments, an open source open ST Linux distribution is available for STM32 microprocessors with Cortex-A core. But this will not be covered today. In this webinar, we focus on STM32 CubeMX and Cube IDE tools, and how users can select and configure software components from STM32 Cube expansion packages announced for STM32 toolset. These expansions are available either from ST, from ST partners, or from the community. Indeed, Thanks to announcement in the STM32 toolset and the new STM32 pack creator utility, anyone can create his own STM32 cube expansion. This expansion can be privately shared within a company or with outside stakeholders in the online community or even offered to customers. STM32CubeMX software configuration tool helps users choose and configure STM32 devices thanks to many software wizards, including pinout conflict solver, peripheral core affinity, and so on. It can also be used to evaluate different power consumption scenarios thanks to its power consumption calculator. After configuring the embedded software bricks of STM32 Cube MCU packages, including HAL and LL drivers, RTOS and middleware, the project generation settings are defined according to user choices. STM32 CubeMX will generate a project with initialization C code for STM32 devices, which can be opened in the user's preferred IDE including IAR Embedded Workbench and ARM Kyle MDK. On top of this, users can now browse STM32 Cube expansion in the STM32 Cube MX tool and open them. It's also possible to import additional packages that are not listed in STM32 Cube MX tool. Users can select and configure software components from these packages. STM32 CubeMX will generate a project including these software components for users' own hardware configuration. There are two ways to use STM32 Cube tools. The first one, on the left, is to start with STM32 CubeMX configuration tool you can generate projects for several IDEs, including IAR Embedded Workbench and ARMKIL MDK, or STM32 Cube IDE in STM32 CubeMX. 
If you are using STM32CubeID to write, compile, and debug your own code, you can directly start in STM32CubeID as it integrates all STM32CubeMX functionalities to offer all-in-one tool experience. In STM32Cube expansion packages, you can find ready-to-use project examples you could directly open in your preferred IDE, pre-configured to compile and run out of the box on specific ST boards. So far, if you were using STM32Cube MX tool, you had to generate your project after configuring peripherals and middleware and ERTOS from STM32Cube MCU package. Then, you had to open the project in your IDE and add software components from STM32Cube expansions packages manually, that is, all source and header files. Configuration was also manual in header files. Now, the support of STM32Cube expansion packages in STM32Cube MX tool will get you up and running faster on your own STM32 board prototype, importing expansion software components directly in STM32CubeMX tool and configuring them before generating the IDE project for your chosen MCU or board target. If you would like to create your own STM32Cube expansion, a new utility called STM32 Pack Creator is available in the installation folder of STM32 Cube MX tool. It can generate a .pdsc file according to CMC's pack standard. This file describes software components in the packages with dependencies and can be read by STM32 Cube MX or STM32 Cube IDE tools. Or any other tool adopting this standard, such as the Harm Kyle MDK, for instance. In addition, STM32 Pack Creator allows you to develop the configuration panel and to generate corresponding files for STM32 Cube MX or Cube IDE tool. If you would like to have more information on how to create a STM32 Cube expansion, visit the dedicated STM32 wiki page. You will find three project samples with step-by-step -step tutorial videos and detailed documentation. If you didn't have the chance to attend the webinar held on September 22nd, named Accelerating STM32 Application Development with New STM32 Cube Tools, check out the webinar replay. Thank you for your attention. In this part of our webinar, we will show you how to run a sample Unison Arthos project in the STM32 Cube MX. Launch the STM32 CubeMX version 6.0.1. In the main window, click the button Install slash Remove to install the Unison RDOS package. In the opened window, click the button From Local, then select the Unison RDOS package on your local disk. Now read and accept the license agreement. Wait for the Unison Artos package to be installed. Once the installation complete, you can see the robots tab. Click the tab to see the installed Unison Arnos package.
Click the Unison Autos package and see the information about the installed package below. Now close the window. Create a new project. Click File and select New Project from the drop down menu. Select the required processor or development board, then click Start Project. In the panel above, click the Software Packs menu and then select Components. In the opened window, select Robots Unison Autos package and mark the kernel and CMC's components. You can also select the application for generating a sample of work with Unison Artos. Now click OK. In the left part of the window, select Robots Unison Artos from the Software Packs list. Select Artos Unison Artos and then Device Unison Artos Applications checkboxes. Check the Parameter Settings tab for the Settings customization. Now switch to the NVIC tab, then to Code Generation, and select the checkboxes for generating and calling of Cystic ISR. Now switch to the Project Manager tab. Input the name of your project. In the toolchain IDE field, select the required IDE and the version of this IDE in the version field. After the settings completion, click Generate Code. Once you see the warning, use the SysTick as a base safe system timer, click Yes and wait for the project to be generated. If you see this window, then the Unison Ardos project is successfully generated. Now open the created project.
Note that Unison Arto's main task could be found in the application C file. You can customize it depending on your requirements. Please verify that CSTIC handler was generated successfully and export CSTIC handler routine is called inside. Please verify that MX Unison Artos init routine is called inside the main C file. If you didn't choose an application option before, you should add MX Unison Artos init call manually. In case if you choose an application of the shelf, this call should be already here. Thanks for watching.